Hey YouTube, this is Dave and today I'm going to show you Chromecast in the car. And what I have here is my 7 inch screen and behind this screen I have a way to connect the RCA input. I have a lock pick, it has RCA input and output and it also has DVD in motion where I can unlock uh, while I'm driving I can watch video on the screen. Anyway, uh, with that said, with the RCA input I use this converter here and this converter converts the Chromecast's HDMI to RCA and then it runs the back into that lock pick and it shows up on the screen. So with this you need power. I hooked up with USB for power for this converter and the Chromecast also needs power so I have it into my 12 volt cigarette lighter. So now with that said it's running. Now the only problem is we need an internet connection. Today I'm going to be using, and this is like the only way, I'm going to be using the iPhone 5's tethering uh, personal hotspot. And uh, this is Tether Me app. It's a jailbreak tweak that allows this to happen for free. Uh, but you can also have a legit personal hotspot. So let's turn this personal hotspot. And you'll see that since I paired in, you know, I, I did it in the past, that it will show up uh, and work on the Chromecast. So Chromecast will automatically find and connect to the iPhone 5's personal hotspot. And now you're ready to cast. Now, you don't get this easy. Uh, what you have to do when you first get your Chromecast is you have to connect it the legit way, you know, the usual way. You got to go home, plug it into your TV, you got to hook up to the Wi Fi in your house, and then you start casting. You have to do the update, you have to name your Chromecast. You got to do all that. You can't right out of the box use personal hotspot and try to connect your iPhone 5 uh, hotspot right to the Chromecast. You can't do that. Once you get it connected in your home and everything works, then you can re hit the reset button. You could turn on your personal hotspot then the Chromecast will find it, but you have to use an app. You have to use either an Android tablet or phone to configure with the app uh, to your iPhone 5's personal hotspot connection, or you have to use the computer. So your computer, you have to hook it up to the iPhone 5 Wi-Fi, and the, um, the Chromecast has to be connected to the Wi-Fi uh, using an app uh, or using Chrome browser in your PC or desktop. Then once you get it all connected and it's working, then every time you get into your car with this connection the way I have it, you could just turn on personal hotspot, the Chromecast will find the iPhone 5, and you're all set. Now, unfortunately, iOS does not allow you to use personal hotspot and cast to the Chromecast. You can't do it. It won't let you do it, and it gives you an error message when you try it on PC or in, in the home. It'll say UPNP. Uh, universal plug and play uh, maybe Android has this maybe you're allowed to personal hotspot on your Android and send a cast video uh, or actually cast the URL because you're not really streaming video you're what you're doing is you're taking your mobile device you're you're typing in a URL you're getting the video URL and then the video URL gets sent to the Chromecast and the Chromecast completely takes over uh, the stream, uh, you know, from the cloud, uh, uh, YouTube, and your iPhone is freed up, uh, you know, whatever device you're using, mobile device, is freed up, and you can go navigate away to another page or whatever. So, unfortunately, in the car, you need a personal hotspot or Wi-Fi hotspot. That's what I'm doing with the iPhone 5. I'm not going to use it, to, I'm not going to find video on here and cast it over. I'm just using it as a router, pretty much, a Wi-Fi router that the Chromecast is connected to. So with that said, we have multiple devices here. I have the iPhone uh, 4 without uh, cellular service, uh, using it with Wi-Fi, and I am have an iPod Touch, and I have an iPad Mini, and I also have an Android device here. It's the Kindle Fire HD um, and with just Wi-Fi, and, and we're gonna show you two of them right now. So let's now use the iPhone 4 uh, running iOS 7. By the way, you can use iOS 5, 6, and 7. Uh, they all work. I have the two apps that work currently, Netflix and YouTube. Uh, so let's do, um, I don't know, let's do YouTube. I mean, uh, Netflix. Now, with Netflix on iOS, uh, and by the way, iOS does not have an app to configure your Chromecast. This is why I'm telling you, you have to do it from home on your Chrome browser in your desktop or PC, your PC or Mac or you have to do it from an Android uh, setup app. So that with that said, when the app comes out for this, which who knows how long it's gonna take Apple to approve of it, uh, it's going to be able to do it easier, maybe do it right off the bat, out of the box, okay? Now the iPhone 4 is connected to the personal hotspot. 
and I have a video here that I can hit play and it's playing. Now in the corner here you're going to see the cast button and now it's going to cast just like it works on TV on home. So then we cl it closes this out and what it do does is it's going to set it up and send the URL over to our iPhone 5 uh, and the Chromecast actually and uh, it will start playing and it will give you a nice little animation a thumbnail with the player controls and it loads up I have only a couple bars in my driveway but let's uh, let that load up and you know you can also add things to the queue um, and you do that by hitting the share button while the video is playing oh, and, That's and it will say see now we have that so I'm gonna pause that okay I'm gonna come out of this I'm gonna come out of onto the iPhone and the reason I come out because I'm going to go to another device is because I want to stop the transmission uh, of the uh, the Chromecast using the internet connection to slow things down so that the other things can load better uh, so basically you want to play your video first uh, and then hit the Chrome uh, cast button and then cast your video because you don't want it something running while it's while it's working so now here's the the uh, Kindle Fire and it's loading up the video uh, that I chose and there's a casting button here and we're gonna cast it over we're gonna cast it over in a second I stop that and we're gonna play and we're gonna cast now and we'll cast our video to our Chromecast. All right, so there we have it. It's running from here. It's giving you a nice little thumbnail that I made, and it'll give you the player controls right there. We're all doing this over Hotspot, and we have our Chromecast connected beautifully. So that's that. I mean, I could show you on the all the other devices, but it pretty much works the same. YouTube and Netflix. Now just imagine the possibilities if every app uses the uh, API or you know you uh, enable you know all the apps are enabled with you know casting that would be great so there you have it uh, the iPhone 5 the Android uh, HD you know Kindle HD and you have Chromecast running in your car uh, nice and easy and there you have it so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions if you want me to test out anything let me know and I will see you on my next video. Have a nice day.